Hello everybody and welcome back to another Brick in the Mall. My name is Twisted and Ball Mart is blooming. It's awesome. There's a lot of people here and they're all very, very much pissed because they have to wait for ages. All right, I said I was going to do the mats and do the optimal layout, but I just remembered that now because it's been a few days and I forgot. So we're going to just keep it as is right now. We have like eight people nonstop, right? If you go to like manage store, go to staff. We have... We have eight people most of the day. And eight is as many as we can have right now. Honestly, I think it's... I think the problem is like these things, because they buy them over here, I don't know. Okay, let's just try speeding up. Speeding up. Our cashiers will get better over time. Also, we are missing some right now. I mean, it's definitely... Because when they do the shift, everyone leaves from their queue. And there's like no one over here right now because of some reason. Where, where, where's the person who works here now? Like, where are they? Why didn't they switch? There should be someone here, but I guess they're like late for work or something. Hold on. Manage store, staff. Home and home and home and home and home. At work. Work, work, at home. Five hours. Five, uh, filling shells. Work, at work. At work, at work, at work. Well, someone's not at work. Work, at work. Stuck in track, okay, of course. She's in the middle of friggin' nowhere. Who knows where she is? Oh, that's kinda bad. They're hungry. Oh yeah, I think they actually fixed the restaurants. Uh, there was like an update that changed the way restaurants work. So now, there people actually do want to eat stuff, which is great. It's great for us. It takes them a bit to get there, but it is fine. It takes them too long to get the thing. And also, fast food is now more, um... Uh, more worthwhile. Let's buy... Let's hire another... Let's not hire anyone right now. Let's just leave it as is. Can, like, do her thing fairly well. They don't have to wait for too long. Yeah, they have to wait for quite a bit, though. You don't want to cook anything, right? I guess not. You're hanging around. All right. Yeah, you, you did your thing. No problem. It's, it's great. How much money are we making right now? We could look at the zone. I'm making some cash, I guess. It's gonna be better soon, I feel. Like, when the, after midnight. Because we're gonna be able to see the report, right? Yeah, okay, it's a lot better than yesterday, and that's that's good. So most of closes here. This thing is open whole night. So we'll see if this is gonna have, be enough people. Maybe it's not gonna be enough people. It's probably enough people. All right, so this probably makes us a ton of money, right? Yeah, the profit margins are insane. The profit margin is only fifty percent. But the profit it makes is pretty damn disgusting, in a good way, which is awesome! Alrighty, so what is gonna be our next goal? What is our plan now? I wonder. Well, we have the the clothing store. How is this thing going? Yeah, it's making a bit less money now. It's making a ton. We have the shoe store. Uh, it's actually not making us that much cash. Actually, no, this is the... Okay, it's making us some cash. It did go down. Which is unfortunate. Bigfoot's Emporium is not as profitable as it used to be. But it's okay, that's not a big deal. Because what we can actually do... I really like think like, I feel like this is too big. Because we don't, we can't, I want to have like two tables with shoes. You know how like in stores they have tables with shoes and whatnot. But we can only use shelves here, which... Yeah, it, it's not awesome. And also there's not a lot of variety in shoes, they're all mostly the same. So I wish to like... They're definitely gonna add that over time, I feel, because developers have been doing a great job. But also, seriously, developers are awesome. They're they, this game is so good. I love this game so much. It's such a cool idea. So much potential. I just hope they they follow up on the potential and make it amazing. Because I want I want so much stuff. I want more variety. Like I want more clothing. I want like expensive jackets, cheap jackets, uh, expensive shirts, crappy shirts, cheap shirts, fancy shirts. I want I want variety, man. Like over here, the clothing rack. Give me a, give me variety. I want more variety. Yeah, variety is awesome. It's amazing. Right, so our stocking stuff is doing fine here. It's not very busy in the like wee hours. It's gonna get better over time. Also, we should definitely like have some better parking because this is not ideal. Uh, it's actually quite bad. We have a ton of money, so you know I mean, we have the deliveries over here. It's not very necessary to have them in this area right now. But I do want to make the parking a lot better because we're gonna definitely need more parking space soon-ish. So I'm gonna go to build, because we haven't actually done anything in this episode yet. Let's extend this road a bit. 
just just a, just a little bit and just have this marked off as the areas where we're gonna have the other roads just so we know and just 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 give it a little bit workers should get on it quite easily shouldn't be a big deal be fine all right so I wanna oh, today I wanna monitor this store and we're probably gonna need more people more cashiers we have a lot of happy people today holy crap that we're gonna reach new a new peak right Yeah, uh, I think we're gonna reach beat 138. Yep, it done. Oh my, it's, it's awesome. Now, this is an update yet, but we have, um, uh, oh, that's daily customers. Never mind, that's not peak on site. But still, yesterday was amazing. We brought to 50k, that could take a bit. It actually, might not be that difficult because it's all, um, maybe it's gonna be that difficult. I don't know. We're doing fine. Problem is, when we have the shift change. They uh, take their sweet ass time to change, which is bad, which slows down our thing quite a bit. We need, we need more efficient uh, shift changes, definitely. We gotta make them come in earlier, have double people, but then it's not very profitable. What's this? Queues are full. No restaurants, or restaurants are full. Right, so that's a problem right now. It wasn't a problem before. That's a problem. So let's go over here. Uh, now that the fast food is fixed, we also gotta make this a little bit better, because this is an awful fast food restaurant right now. It's very, very inefficient. This is all gonna be... We're gonna tear this entire thing down. Maybe we're gonna leave the original shop, because I have fond memories of it. We're gonna tear in this entire thing down. We're gonna focus on this area. This, this was just, like, the temporary little place where we did stuff. All right, so... Uh... Let's see. You want, want to go to staff, and this... Hold on. First of all, it's open at 8, it was until midnight. That's fine. That that's okay. Um, let's get like we have cook. We have enough cooks. Let's let's get like more cashiers over here. Let's hire you. Let's hire you and you work. Let's see. So you guys, actually, I can just move you until this aligns. Yeah, like that. You're gonna come work in twenty one hours. That's too too long. It's too long, man. I mean, it's not that bad over here. I. Could maybe add more checkout counters. It might be necessary, but I don't think it's gonna be. I think, it's, I think we're doing just fine. Like, there's no one in this area. That's a problem. I think it might be a good idea to have, like, one extra cashier at all times. Just in case someone gets late for work, but that's, like, horribly inefficient. Most everyone is leaving right now. How much money did we make? Uh, yeah, we made more than yesterday, which is great. Yeah, that, that's uh, pretty damn nice. 506 daily customers! Holy crap, Snacks, that's amazing. People are coming in still. Alright, well, how's our research going? Appliances are almost done, media is done, tools... Alright, you know what? Let's get some more shops done. We have a ton of money, we can afford that. We just have to expand our mall and get more stuff. This storage is big right now, but it's not gonna be big enough uh, in the near future. We have the shoe store, which can stay like this. I don't like the symmetry, so I think what I want to do, let's actually pause the game quickly, like maybe do something like, but I don't want to make it too tight, honestly, like what if we did like this and then have, remove this wall, have the, we have like move this a little bit to the side, maybe not, because I don't want it to be just square, I wish you could rotate stuff to fill in the walls. I could just make this and have like two ATMs here in this corner. Yeah, that, that would be fine, I guess. That would be okay. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna also remove walls and arms. I'm gonna remove like these two walls. It's gonna be a little ATM alcove. That's gonna be fine. We're also gonna go to objects. Let's see what we have on offer here. Uh, I also wanna make a cinema, a bowling alley, a trash can. Let's get some plants. Honestly, plant type B. I have some plants in the corner here. It's gonna like add a little bit to our thing. Make that uh, a bit nicer. All right. Also, we need some ATMs. You know, they're expensive, but they're gonna come in handy. ATM. Where is the ATM? At the bottom. Good, 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 good. All right, two ATMs. That's okay for now. We can add a third one here if we want to. But I don't wanna. I don't wanna overdo it with the ATMs. Also, they're not centered, which is mildly annoying to me. It's all right though. It's no biggie at all. 
not a big deal. Uh, I don't know, I'm a huge fan of these things, like being on the road. I'll probably move them to the middle, like add like a garbage bag with some flower pots and whatnot, just to spice it up a bit. We'll see, also this is not very useful, the water dispenser in the middle of nowhere. But it's alright. Okay, how are these other things doing? They're all closed, right, of course. That makes sense. We are... We made... Ah, we made like... About the same amount of money as yesterday, which is okay. I guess. Yeah, that, that's fine. Right, so what's this, what's this thing gonna be? How expensive are the walls? Walls are... Yeah, they're not that expensive, actually. We can afford to paint with them. If we pause the game. Yeah, actually, we don't use the money until we actually build something, so that's, that's fine. That's just marvelous. So let's have like this area where you enter and walk around. Then you reach this. So this is like five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. Have this and have this. And then kind of like... Like this. This can be a little corner. But I want the corner to be... Like not a, just a square. I want it to be something like this. That would look a bit cooler, right? So that looks a bit better already. But the problem is, we cannot do that because we're going to have like disjointed walls here because of this thing. Because we already have stuff in this corner. So my thinking is, we go for another shop in the area. Or maybe we'll do something like, even go even crazier. Something like this. That, that, is that too big? Is it too big to have something like that? I don't think it's too big, honestly. I think this is fine. Alright, we're gonna go with this corner, which has like four extra blocks. We can squeeze in some stuff in there if we want to. Which means we're gonna need another shop in here, which means we're gonna need to have some more foundations. So might as well tell our guys to work on the foundations while we wait. We can spend some money, it's fine. We're gonna need that area anyway, sooner or later. Let's get them to work. I have to go all the way around. Because the dummies cannot just break open the friggin' walls, that's fine. We have the appliances research, which is awesome. We can go for tools. Let's go for cinema. Let's go for cinema. I want to build a cinema. I saw Doctor Strange yesterday. It was pretty, pretty good. I liked it a lot. Alright, so there you finally open this bad boy up, which is great. Alright, so want to have, like, another little shop here. What can we squeeze in here? Well, my idea is to have, like, a bunch of shops that are... In not very big, they're just vertical. So the plan is this. Let's have... What do we... Okay, if you look at the the shelf item... Actually, let's look over here. What could we have... At the end? What's the research... Uh, the base research project? That's kind of silly. Why do we need that? Uh, appliances, supplier, tool supplier. We could have like a... Uh, you know, we could have a luxury supplier over here. We could have like a jewelry store in this area. Yeah, that, that seems fine. So next to, uh, next to this thing, we could have... We could have, like, a, like a bookstore. Yeah, let's have a, let's have a small bookstore. It doesn't have to be anything fancy, just a small, tiny bookstore for a lot of, with a lot of books. Like a, like a tiny family, family-owned business. I like that idea quite a lot. So we're gonna go to our walls menu, we're gonna pause the game again, because I want to do a little bit of sculpting in between. So let's say that this is like the entrance to the bookstore over here. Let's say that... Uh... Like it's like... This, right? No, like, like this. Yeah, that's... No, actually, like this. It has to be like... That's what we said, right? That's what we... First of all, we went for like... But this thing, then I said, you know what, let's... No, first of all, we had this. Then we had, you know, let's do this. And then I said, you know what, let's do... We do either this... Or this. I think this looks... I think this one looks better, honestly. Yeah, alright, so I wanna have like a bookshelf... Bookshelf... Bookshelf entrance. Do I wanna have like a lot of room? I mean, book sh bookstores... Are usually filled to the brim with books. There's a lot of books in there, so I don't think we need any extra space, honestly. Yeah, I think we're fine with that. So we could have like, all of these be bookstores. Uh, all of these be books. We have like more books over here. And we have like books and books. Like make them a little bit more open in this area. What we're gonna do is we're gonna like cut this over. We're gonna go a little bit like here. Like this. No, no, no. Like, uh, like this. That's gonna be the wall, I think. And we have like books. Books, 
books entrance over here books then we have a uh, like a space have a books books and then we're gonna go like have our checkouts over here in the bottom or we have the checkouts in the top like this is the wall we have like books we could have a checkout over here with the queue in this area another checkout over here with the queue that goes all the way here we could have like more books in here at the top and have the entrance be okay yeah, let's, let's go with that i like the wall let's place the walls first i like this layout it's gonna be our corner area so i'm gonna just extend this quite a bit because we're gonna need this wall anyway sooner or later and also let's um build a door immediately so we want a double door double door books 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 so i can have a double door and then have books all around them or if we want to do it just normal door i think like for a bookstore a normal door should be fine. We can actually have two doors. Yeah, yeah. Not the not the not the influential family, but two doors, as in dos. Um, how do you say door in Spanish? Puerta? Is it, is it, I think it's puerta, right? La puerta. La puerta is a door, I think. I studied Spanish for four years, but I forgot most of it. My bad. Yeah, like like something like like this. Like this is the. Uh, we have we have had the cashiers here, so it cannot be, it cannot be here. Okay, so either here, or if we have the double door, double door, it can be like in this area. Let's have it like this. Oh, you know what? We could do something really funky. I'll cancel this because I am silly. We could have like a let's, have a, let's have a double door, but we're gonna go... Like, no, that will use way too much space. What if he uses a triple door? Again, uses way too much space. So yeah, I want to go fancy with that, but not in this area. So we're gonna go with walls over here everywhere. Let's go for objects. Let's get a double door. Let's get, let's get a normal door, actually. Yeah. I know I keep changing my mind, but you know me by now. Like this episode, what, 17? 18, maybe? I think it's 18, actually. You know me by now. I like nagging with, with stuff quite a bit. Check out counter goes over here. It totally breaches into the wall over there. But that's okay. It leaves us quite a bit of room for people to check out what is up. Show it a small door for now. Also, we will need a storage. But we don't have to have the storage right next to this. We can have the storage somewhere else. Although that makes it a bit more inefficient. Right, how is, how is this thing look, looking right now? It looks pretty damn nice. How ton of sales today? Our sales are going up considerably. Our profit not so much because we are spending more money. But our sales are looking great. Which is awesome. I think that matters to me right now. People are only going into one thing here. Oh, you're going to both. Oh, because you go to the closest one, right? Yeah, and you you, you switch around. Ideally, we wouldn't even use this one on the left. Ideally, we just have this one. Oh, use all of them now. Well, okay, now you do your left. I'm gonna get a, get a third person, right? Where's the third person? Did I not assign a third person going home on the way to where you are supposed to be here? Yesterday, Mister at work, freaking Judd. The switch, yeah, switch the other other <laughs> queue. Come on, guys. Yeah, we need a better fast food restaurant. We know we need an actual restaurant, but we only we only right now we only have fast food. <sighs> She's pissed. Where is the goddamn food? Hold on. Cook. Will you, oh, Vivian? Viv. Viv. Dude, Viv. What is up? Viv. Viv. Viv! You're not doing anything else. Fire you because you're goddamn useless. There we go. Uh, Harry Cook. Harry, yeah, Harry Patient. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Viv. You're hard back, Viv. Enjoy. Yeah, we're not gonna be selling anything today, cause we have no cook. They're all going to leave. Alright. That's kinda bad. 
Yeah, I'm gonna actually uh, in this video here. If you guys enjoyed this episode of Another Brick in the Mall, please feel free to leave a like, leave a comment. It helps out a good deal more than you can, even if that. Yeah, once again, thank you guys very much for watching. My name has been Twisted from Hanabana Games, and I will see you next time.